I have a different philosophy than most people. Most people, you give them a glass and you ask them if it's half full or half empty. I'm gonna tell you it's irrelevant. My philosophy is be thankful for the glass, be thankful for what you have, because it could always be worse. You can always tell where the bottoms of the field is because that's when the okra is always the tallest. To me, getting out here on a loud tractor pulling a disc is one of the most peaceful things. I rode on the fender of the tractor many a day with my father and grandfather when I was a little kid. I was told a long time ago that if you can please 95% of the customers of walking through that door, you're going to do great business in the restaurant and not to sweat the 5%. I started in Atlanta, that's where I grew up. And then after that, went to the mountains of North Carolina, where I opened my, my restaurant when I was 19 years old. Everything was locally gathered. I always tried to do that, uh, well, all the restaurants I ever did. It wasn't the, uh, the end thing to do at the time. We're the oldest active century farm here in Carter County. Uh, the family's been living here since 1734. Never seriously thought about leaving the farm. It's just what we do. Roddy Duck is a um, waterfront restaurant, casual with fresh food. And uh, we take pride in what we serve. Where we come together is quality. Fabian is one of them type of guys, if you sell good quality stuff, he will buy from you, he will stick with you. He's told me multiple times, if I have something I need to move, let him know and he'll do a special to help me move it. And that, that means a lot. Well, I think building a relationship between, um, between who's around you and supporting your local other businesses attracts business. If we don't support what they're doing, they're not gonna be able to do this anymore. And then we cannot be self-sustainable. I have some seedless watermelons and cantaloupes probably at the end of the week. We have completely changed the economics of this farm. Used to, we were probably 90% wholesale. We sold almost everything to grocery stores. Got it. The big chain stores now won't buy from you unless you can sell to half the stores in the state. And a small family farm like us, you, you just can't compete. If you let it worry you, it'll eat you up. I mean, you, you just gotta roll with the punches. Right before Florence, we had a crop of string beans that was literally four days or five days away from being ready to pick. And Florence come here and just wiped them out. And it's the prettiest crop we had in four or five years. We have a double whammy here. For us, it's been hard. Florence, uh, we had water uh, up to where the motors are. We lost everything in here. We reopened and it was a challenge to get going again. And then um, this last year, we had COVID. I felt bad for Fabian because he had invested all this blood, sweat, and tears in a business and here it was shut down and then it was uncertain whether he was going to be able to come back or not. But our relationship stayed the same. I, I think he's going to do good. I think he's going to make it. It's a lot easier to buy from a big distributor. It takes extra work to be able to buy from a small farmer, but it's still important. What do you think is special about his produce? Joe. Uh, special about his produce is his heart. Community means a lot to me. I used to like going in the grocery store and see our products on the racks. And now you go into restaurants and you see your name on the menu. I think it's neat. I think it's, 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 it is part of the community. And I think something like that is a good way to help bring people closer together.